back to another vlog. Today is Wednesday the 5th of May and I'm in a little bit of a different location. I'm on the Gold Coast in Surfers Paradise and I've just checked into my hotel. I've popped all the luggage down and I'm just relaxing. So Hayden's currently at work, sucker. He finishes at about 4.30 today and then he'll be headed up here to join me. So tomorrow, the 6th of May, Thursday, is my birthday and we have some fun activities planned. And then we stay here until Sunday. Come home about lunchtime and then we've got to host Mother's Day afternoon tea because Sunday is Mother's Day. And then I believe my dad and brother are coming over Sunday night for birthday dinner because my mum will already be there for Mother's Day. I'll give you a little bit of a look at the room. We're staying at the Novotel in Surface Paradise. And it used to be called the Hotel Grand Chancellor. I've been here a lot of times, especially when I was younger and it was school holidays. So it's right in Cavill Avenue on Surface Paradise. In the car park is the Woolworths in Cavill Avenue. It's really odd that it's in the middle of the car park. And then when you're in the lobby, the doors open and you're in the shopping center in Cavill Avenue. So it's in a really good location. And in the pool area, before they closed the Donut King downstairs, you used to be able to smell cinnamon donuts and it was really, really good. So I'm here for my birthday. Normally we'll go to either here or the QT hotels. So my birthday last year was locked down, so it didn't really go anywhere. But my 21st, the year before that, we went to the QT in Sydney, which is my favorite hotel ever. I love it so much. And then the year before that on my 20th, we were here at the QT on the Gold Coast. So they have a different theme. So the one on the Gold Coast is beach themed. So now that we're on the Gold Coast again for my birthday, we're going to Novotel and we'll just like swap between the QT and Novotel each time we come here. So I'm very excited to be on holidays. I treated myself a little bit for my birthday. As you can probably notice, my eyebrows are very intense. I got them done last night. They're really dark because I haven't been able to wash them yet. I also got my lashes done. I normally get lash lifts because my eyes are really sensitive and I can only go about three months having lash extensions and I have to get them off. And last time I got them off was like two years ago and I got a lash lift and then I never looked back. But I wanted something different for my birthday. So I went and got lash extensions and I got my nails done. I'm so excited. I hadn't seen my nail lady in like seven weeks because of my full-time job and availability is a lot harder when you work nine to five Monday to Friday. So I finally went and saw her and got my nails done. So I pampered myself a little bit. I think I might get my toenails done in the next couple of days as well because they're looking a bit sad. So I just noticed that there's a little card. Welcome back. Thank you. It's been a while. It is 7.30 and Hayden's finally here. Mm. How was work? Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah? Yeah. Long trip. What's on your arm? <sighs> work stuff. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. That stuff. Hungry? I am hungry. We're going to go get some dinner somewhere downstairs. Haven't quite decided where. And then come back and relax. You like the room? Yeah, it's not bad. It's very nice. <laughs> I got that. I got that on camera. <laughs> we had dinner, came back, had showers, and now we're already in bed for my birthday tomorrow. I feel the mid beam in this thing. Can you? We love it. Well, good thing you don't sleep in the middle of the bed. It's actually really comfortable. Yeah, it's quite cool. And the bed has like lights around it, as you can see. And it's like the perfect night light. Mm. See you on my birthday! Happy birthday! Have a bad day. <laughs> Have a bad day. Have a bad day. Good morning.
go we're gonna do a very adventurous activity this morning so Q1 is one of the really tall buildings on the Gold Coast and they offer what they call a sky point climb so you actually go and climb the very top of the building so that's what we're doing this morning so it's almost 8 30 so we're gonna leave and walk up to the hotel and climb it are you excited? I'm excited. They, I think there's a part at the top where you can lean back off the building. It's the second tallest building in the Southern Hemisphere. What's the tallest now? I think it's um, a building in Finland. It was the tallest when I was younger and we it stayed was, there. <laughs> from 2005 to 2011, it was the tallest residential structure in the world. I stayed in it while it was the tallest. three stories per second in one of Australia's fastest elevators to the top of one of the world's tallest residential towers. Your trip will take less than 43 seconds. We finished the climb and we quickly ducked back to the hotel room and I changed my shirt and now we're sitting in the observation deck about to have some lunch. Did you like the climb? Mm. It was really fun. You can see it above us. We climbed up there. They should have another group going soon, but it was really fun. And it actually was not windy at the top, which is really odd. I thought it would be so windy, but it was completely still. But it had such an amazing view. You could actually see Brisbane from the top of the building, which is really cool. I liked it. Very fun. Yeah. We leaned over the edge, and we actually leaned forward and looked down over the building too, which was crazy. It was pretty fun. I really liked it. And now I'm really hungry. Hangry, actually. Yeah. Are you scared? No. It was fun. I went first. <laughs> we were the first people to lean over the building. Yeah. My legs didn't want to do it, but I was like, nah, it's not that <laughs> Leaning, I think, forward was more iffy than leaning backwards. Yeah. Like, looking over the edge. That was a bit more questionable. <laughs> but it was fun. Would 100% recommend.
Hayden left the key in the room. We had to get another uh, one. Oh, <laughs> Look, yeah. he left it right here. It's me, wow. All his fault. How did it get there? Com you left it there. Oh. We had a little relaxation and Hayden almost took a nap. And now we're gonna go for a little bit of a shop. What are you doing? Hayden got a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> And he also got one raspberry Twizzler. I got some chewy gobstoppers because they're my favorite. And I got my brother some Swedish fish because he really likes them. Yum. He got some Starbucks. I got a cookies and cream frappuccino. What did you get? I got a mocha frappuccino. Oh, they're paper, your favorite. I thought I'd give you a look a bit closer up of what Hayden got me for my birthday. So I got a Peter Alexander pajama set. This is the Luxe Satin, which is a lot nicer than the normal satin ones you can get. They're very cute. And I got a pair of Docs. These are the black Napple ones. I'm a size seven, so tiny. But I have a cherry red pair of Docs at home that were my dad's, but I didn't have a black pair. So Hayden got me a black pair. Thank you. Happy girl. We have a reservation tonight at Milky Lane at seven o'clock. Rach, Chris and Dylan are driving up to have dinner with us. So I'm very excited. We were on the coast, I think a fortnight ago for Hayden's birthday and we were going to go to some clubs, but someone forgot their ID. Who would I don't do know. that? That's, That's just crazy. crazy. It's crazy. So we were mm. here not that long ago. Um, which was interesting. <laughs> it was a fun day, but um, we ended up just spending, so we came up the Friday night and we just spent the whole Saturday at the coast. It was pretty fun. So Rachel and Chris are coming back up here to spend some time with us and bringing Dylan with them. Have some yummy dinner. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I am all ready to go. Curled my hair. Hayden always does the back of my hair for me. So curled my hair, I touched up my makeup, I popped on some lipstick and my outfit. My dress is from the Universal store. I have no idea what brand it is, but all ready to go. Hayden has just ducked down to the car to grab something. I have no idea what, but he'll be back in a sec. And then I think it's only a two minute walk. So I'm very excited and very hungry. Oh my gosh, I really want loaded fries. We are back in the hotel room. It is 10.30 and we're going to bed because we're tired. Hey. Yeah. Had a fun day. Early Had a good birthday. Up. Hey. Early wake up for the climb this morning. Yes, we woke up really early for the climb. But I had a good day, had lots of yummy food. Even had a birthday pimple, love that for me. But now we're gonna go to sleep and Tomorrow my mum is coming to the coast and we're going to go shopping at Harbour Town and go to the spa I think. I'm ready for bed. It's Friday morning and Beck's mum is coming up to spend the day with us going mm -hmm. shopping at Harbour Town I think. Mm -hmm. And then we have no other plans. That's all I wanted to do today. <laughs> it's probably going to take the whole day though. So. Probably a good thing. Although, by the time we're done, 
I think we'll be grateful we have no plans. Yeah, I'll we'll take just a come nap. Home and lay down. Yes. And the pool. Yeah. Mum definitely is gonna go to the spa today. Your mum loves a good spa. She does. We are back from Harbour Town. Mum had a little dip in the spa and she just left, but I'll show you what we brought. So we went to Peter Alexander and I got these pants and then I got this set and it's so soft, it's so nice. And then Hayden went to Puma and picked up two shirts. So that's our little haul. Nothing too crazy. Mm. Looks like Iron Man. Sort of does actually. <laughs> We are back in the hotel room. So we went for a little bit of a wander down to the market. And you would have seen we got GYG. That was about three o'clock today. We have, I haven't actually had like a dinner, but we got some fudge, choc vanilla, and we got some coconut ice. And we went to Woolies and got some drinks. So we're gonna sit down, have some fudge and some milk and watch the last episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And then Hayden will probably get hungry and want some food. Hi, I'm Hayden, and I'm gonna get hungry and want some food. <laughs>